Hello, this is Sergio Martinez with GJD3D and uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how our uh, channel uh, definition for Grasshopper uh, functions. Uh, let me bring in Grasshopper. I already have it open. I'm going to slide it in here. I already have the definition open and all I have to do now is begin to select uh, the different components. Uh, notice uh, select the 2D curve uh, channels path. So I'll select that component, right click, set one curve, and pick my curve right there. Uh, then it's asking me to select the surface uh, for reference. So I'm going to set one geometry. There we go. And now it's asking for the reference stone. I'm going to set one geometry, pick my stone. And then the next step is the actual cross-section for the channel. So set one curve and pick the channel. And there we have the channel is uh, started. Now let me find over here. Uh, see right here, do not preview the stones. Let me change that. Now I can preview the stones as box tracking or I can preview the stones full tracking. There. Now. Uh, the distance uh, on the stones here, if we notice, uh, goes to zero, uh, um, to 0.3. So I'm going to right click this, uh, this, uh, this component here. I'm going to edit. And I'm going to make my minimum uh, value uh, just like the, put this to zero. And put this one to negative five. So I can go five positive or negative. And now notice that I can now change the, the distance between the stones and get that get them really close. However, you know. Now let me let me work on the position of the stones as we can see they're too far deep into the channel. So uh, we're going to move those stones out. Let me slide this up a little bit so we can see. Uh, offset the stones up and down. So here we go. Let me see if I can get a good angle on this here. Uh, looks like I need to go a little higher. Uh, lost it. Here we go. Uh, just a little bit. I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Here we go. There we go. That should be that should be where I want those stones to go. There we go. Now notice that uh, this uh, channel is being cut. Uh, it's got squares here to cut. Uh, we're going to work with those later. We're going to move them down to have uh, small little gallery cuts here on the side. Now let me continue working with the position of the stones. I need to move uh, move the first stone. Uh, the other way, here we go. And I'm going to move that all the way right up to the edge. A little bit more and just a little hair more. Right there. So that's right at the edge. There. And let me see what I'm what I got over here. Now I'm going to begin adjusting the distance between the stones. Oops, too, too much, too much. Now I want to work on this one here so I can move it more this way. So maybe the uh, the start of the channel here, oh, the other way, oops, and move the first stone. There, and then now over here, 
Notice that um, my stone is sticking out a little bit at the end over here, so I can adjust that. So uh, extend end of path, start of path, or extend the start of the path. So I'm going to extend this a little. And oops, too much, too much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me double click. Probably better if I do like a 0.5. Let me see what it's looking like on the top. There we go. And now can I just back a little bit? So this is uh this is a lot of uh, adjustments here back and forth uh, until you end up with exactly what you're looking for. Let me move this first stone back. Nope, wrong way. Here we go. Uh, there and I can there so now we have the stones in place more or less the way I I want them now I don't want this uh, this holes to be capped so I'm going to uh, move those holes back in here and then change change them slightly so uh, let me come over here here are the rectangular holes and I can move them up and down and I'm going to change their size. There. And let me move them down. Oh, too far, too far. So as you can see, you can configure your channel. Uh, notice that it's got uh, this cone here. And what this cone is for, this cone is actually going to cut the holes on the bottom here for our uh, for our stones to get light into the stones. Here we can see them now, and now we can adjust them. I'm going to move them down. And I'm going to reduce the radius. There you go. And then you have here the option to Boolean or not Boolean. So I'm going to keep it uh, to go ahead and, and do it. Now I'm going to use the, the this, this one here to cap. See, select the only one that's orange. I'm going to right click, set one curve, pick that one. I notice that I now have these rectangular pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch here to uh, outside and create a small little block there for capping that end of the channel. Now once we have the channel already configured, uh, all we have to do is go to uh, the bake channel option, right click, bake, I'm going to choose the shank layer and there we have my, the shank and uh, I'm going to enable the stones here and bake the gems there we go and uh, and at this point we're we're done with the definition so I can go ahead and close I'm not going to do any changes to the right now move grasshopper out of the way